Justin, thank you. New at midday right now, police are investigating two deadly crashes that happened earlier this morning, one involving a drunk teen driver. The first crash happened around 430. Police shut down traffic at Flamingo and Sand Hill intersection. This was after a gray SUV crashed into a motorcyclist. The rider was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. And a couple of hours later, the second crash happening in North Las Vegas near Las Vegas Boulevard. Police tell us that a man in a wheelchair was crossing Cary Avenue outside of a marked crosswalk. Zora Asbury is live at the scene with more on what happened. Rachel, we are live here at the intersection of Civic Center Drive and Cary Avenue. And as I step to the side here, traffic has been affected for most of the morning where a 16 year old driver struck a pedestrian. Now, North Las Vegas police tell us both parties were allegedly under the influence. It was confirm, confirmed that the 16 year old was under the influence after a blood draw. Now, the call came in at about 641 this morning. Police do say a middle aged man was struck while crossing the street in a wheelchair in an unmarked crosswalk. A Mitsubishi Montero was driving eastbound, and that's when it hit the man crossing Cary Avenue. Now, once again, the minor driver stayed on scene, and a blood draw was later revealing that he was impaired as well. and was often seen outside of local businesses. Right now, the coroner's office is going to release more details regarding the identity and the cause of death of the victim as they come in. As for the driver, the 16-year-old has now been booked in the Clark County Juvenile Detention Center and is facing a multitude of charges from DUI, also not rendering aid on scene and driving without a license, registration, or insurance. Reporting live here in North Las Vegas, Zora Asbury, 13 Action News.